Hello and welcome. The title of this short video is Discovering Bashar. I discovered Bashar on YouTube around 10 years ago. And Bashar claims to be a multi-dimensional, human grey hybrid extraterrestrial being from the future who is channeled by his now living ancestor, Daryl Anker. If you are capable of suspending disbelief and listen to what he says, you may find that the information is awe-inspiring, consciousness expanding, and life transforming. The first reason why I love listening to Bashar is that he communicates in such an extraordinarily clear and concise way. I've yet to hear like an um or an ah or any hesitation or uncertainty when speaking or responding to questions. His command of the correct use of English language is absolutely extraordinary and is reason enough to listen to his talks. Also, his accent and mannerisms are really unique and he has a, a really mischievous sense of humour, which I really love. Okay, so the second reason is that the information makes sense on an, on an intuitive level, you know, it resonates deeply. It's like listening to something that deep down we have always known to be true. And the truth is the spell which reawakens the sleeping child within. The child awakens and the imprisoning crusted shell of years of conditioning and programming falls away. And the child's heart burns bright and once again hungers for excitement and fun and adventure. The child release rises back up to its natural blissful state of being deeply in love with life. Okay, the third reason is that when I applied the information, I started to notice real positive changes in my own life. I, be, I began to experience more and more beautiful synchronicities and a lot more excitement and fun. At first, I didn't have a purpose. I simply did what Bashar suggested. I chose the one activity from a number of immediately doable options that I felt would offer the most excitement. I chose to draw a pencil portrait. I soon found myself drawing more and more and I even reduced my work schedule and hence my income to give myself more time to do art. A few weeks later, uh, a friend of mine on Facebook introduced me to the website called DeviantArt. I immediately opened an account and started uploading scanned images of my drawings. I started to get more and more feedback and my energy, excitement and motivated, motivation continued to increase. Soon I found I became interested in designing spacecraft as well as drawing portraits, so I started to do more of that. Then I hit upon an idea that has since been the one thing that continues to, to motivate and excite me the most. And that is, I would, I, would depict, <laughs> I, I would depict in graphic art form the post-scarcity life of my great-great-granddaughter 100 years in the future. I imagine that with the help of UFO and clean energy technology, the world has become peaceful. Large and heavy manufacturing has been moved off planet to give the natural environment a chance to heal. People are no longer slaves to work and money and are instead free to pursue their own interests and dreams and to maximize their potential to the fullest. Peaceful open contact exists with our ET neighbors and humanity is exploring the universe. At the same time, people are encouraged to participate in shamanic ceremonies 
with sacred psychedelic plants and mushrooms. In this way, we keep in tune with the natural energies of nature, each other, and the universe. So, by following my excitement, it automatically guided me to a wonderful purpose. As Bashar said, following your excitement is a complete toolkit for life. Like a compass, it will guide you where you need to go, even though you may not know where you will end up. Thanks to Bashar, my inner child did reawaken, and I feel that I am living a magical and wonderful life. Thank you so much for listening. See you again soon. Goodbye.